deep as the deepest ocean in the world? And could a human survive its crushing depths? What kinds of sea creatures can be found there? Imagine plunging into the ocean, deeper than any sunlight can reach. As you descend, the water around you darkens, turning from a brilliant turquoise to an inky black abyss. The pressure increases, crushing, relentless. It's a world where no human could survive unprotected, a place more mysterious than the surface of Mars. This is the deep ocean, Earth's last great frontier. At first, as you sink past the sunlight zone, life still seems familiar. Fish dart past, coral reefs teem with color, and the warmth of the sun lingers. But go deeper, past 200 meters, and the light fades. You've entered the twilight zone, where strange creatures with enormous eyes glide through the dim water, desperate to catch the last traces of sunlight. Then, at around 1,000 meters, you fall into the midnight zone, a realm of total darkness. Here, the pressure is a thousand times greater than at the surface, cold enough to freeze, yet life thrives in ways we can barely comprehend. Suddenly, a flicker of light catches your eye, but it's not from the sun, it's coming from the creatures around you. This is the world of bioluminescence, where animals glow in the dark like living lanterns. The anglerfish, with its terrifying teeth and eerie light, lures prey into its gaping jaws. The vampire squid, with its cloak-like arms, flickers an eerie blue to confuse predators. And drifting silently is the barrel eye fish, its head completely transparent, revealing glowing green eyes that stare upward, searching for shadows of prey above. At 3,000 meters, you begin to notice something extraordinary towering columns spewing black smoke into the water. These are hydrothermal vents, underwater volcanoes that release superheated water rich in minerals. It should be a lifeless wasteland, yet here, bizarre creatures thrive. Giant tube worms with blood-red plumes sway in the current, sustained by bacteria that turn chemicals into energy, a process called chemosynthesis. Unlike anything else on Earth, these ecosystems don't rely on sunlight at all. Could these deep sea vents be a glimpse into life on other worlds? Scientists believe similar environments might exist in the subsurface oceans of Europa, one of Jupiter's moons, or Enceladus, a moon of Saturn. If life can survive here in complete darkness and extreme heat, perhaps it can survive beyond Earth. Deeper still, at 11,000 meters, you reach the Mariana Trench, the deepest place on Earth. If Mount Everest were dropped into this trench, its peak would still be over a mile underwater. Here the water is near freezing, the pressure is unimaginable, and yet even here, life persists. Tiny shrimp-like creatures scavenge the ocean floor, and strange gelatinous fish float effortlessly through the crushing depths. Despite covering more than 70% of Earth's surface, the deep ocean remains a mystery. More people have walked on the moon than have visited the deepest ocean trenches. Robotic explorers like Alvin and Deep Sea Challenger have ventured into this abyss, but so much remains undiscovered. Yet, this hidden world is under threat. Deep sea mining could destroy fragile ecosystems before we even understand them. Plastic pollution has already reached the deepest trenches, and climate change is altering deep sea currents that regulate our planet's climate. The deep ocean is more than a mysterious realm. It's vital to Earth's survival. It stores carbon, regulates climate, and may even hold new medicines in its uncharted depths. The more we explore, the more we realize how much we depend on this unseen world. 
So, the next time you stand at the shore and gaze out at the ocean, remember, beneath those waves lies a world stranger, darker and more extraordinary than anything we could ever imagine. A world waiting to be explored.